Hey everyone! Thanks for joining me again this week. So today I have a makeup tutorial for you and this is just my everyday, very natural, wearable makeup that is usually my go-to if, if, you know, I don't have too much time and, you know, I don't want to get too fancy glammed up. So this is my favorite look to wear. It's probably the look that I wear most often and it's really simple and pretty fast to do. Um, so I hope you guys like it and let me know if you do. And I hope you enjoy. So first up, I use Makeup Forever's HD Primer and I just use a little dab like that and then just use my fingers to rub it into my face. And I just find that this really helps keep the foundation in place and last a lot longer all day. And then I use Makeup Forever's Matte Velvet in shade number 20, and that is the second lightest shade. And then I just use my Beauty Blender to blend it all out. And then I fix my nose ring that always moves out of place. And then for concealer, I use Cover FX's Cream Concealer, and I will usually just dab that with my finger underneath my eyes, sometimes doing an upside down triangle shape just to make the coverage a little bit better. And then I will use my Beauty Blender, sort of the other side that I used for my foundation, the more pointed side, to sort of blend it all out, not only underneath my eyes, but over the lids as well. And then I use Makeup Forever's HD Micro Finish Powder, and I just use my little Kabuki brush there to apply it and I just find this helps my foundation set a lot better and also keep my face from becoming too oily throughout the day. And then I use CoverGirl's Cheekers Blush in Rose, and then I just use my Duo, MAC Duo Fiber Blush Brush there and just spread it over my cheekbones and the apples of my cheeks. Next, I use Stila's In The Light eyeshadow palette, and I use Bare first, just applying it all over my lid. And as you can see, it's just a really light skin-colored eyeshadow, and it just helps to even out the skin tone in the eye area. And then for the crease, I use the color Bliss, and this is just a very subtle, light brown color, and I just use that all over my crease just to sort of enhance where the natural shadows would be on your face. Again, it's a very subtle, natural look just to enhance your features. And then I use Makeup Forever's mascara there, and again, that's just a sample. The wand is usually not that tiny. <laughs> And I will do one coat on the top and then one coat on the bottom lashes there. And then I will make sure that it dries before putting the second coat on. And that just helps with uh, any clumping that might happen. And then for my eyebrows, I'm actually not sure, I believe that this is CoverGirl's eyebrow pencil in light brown that I have. And there's no rhyme or reason when I draw on my eyebrows. I just kind of do short strokes all over and just follow the natural line of my eyebrows just to enhance it and just to fill it in a little bit more. And then I use Anastasia's Brow Gel, and I just use the brush to apply it and sort of comb out my eyebrows. And this really helps with keeping the eyebrow pencil from wearing off throughout the day. And then finally for lips, I use Revlon's Lip Balm, sort of the chubby pencils that they have. And the color there that I'm using is 001 called Honeydew and that is the completed look. So that's it. 
that is my everyday makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you want to see other tutorials as well. If you guys aren't already, please subscribe. And I hope to see you guys next week. Bye.